what is standard form? Standard form is a method that scientists use to write very large or very small numbers. Instead of using lots of zeros, they write numbers in terms of power of 10. For example, the diameter of Venus would normally write as 12 million 100,000 meters. Scientists would write that as 1.21 times 10 to the 7 meters. This means it's the number 1.21 multiplied by 10 a total of 7 times. That's 1.21 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 so on. The speed of light we'd normally write as approximately 300 million meters per second. Scientists would write that as 3 times 10 to the power of 8, meaning it's 3 times 10 times 10 times 10, a total of 8 times. Using the standard form method, it's very easy to see that the speed of light is actually bigger than the diameter of Venus. That's because the power of 10 is bigger for the speed of light than the power of 10 for Venus. Numbers in standard form are written in two parts. The first part is a number between 1 and 10. I'll call it A. Notice that the number could be equal to 1, but it must be less than 10. The second part is a times 10 to a power, power of n, where n can be any integer. Look at, let's look at some examples. Let's write these numbers in standard form. So this number here, um, first part is a number between 1 and 10, so there's an, it's got to be 7.35, and then times 10 to a power, times 10 to the power of, well we've got to go and see how many times we're multiplying by 10. Now every time we multiply by 10, now every time we multiply by 10, the decimal place moves. So if we go and consider, we've now got 7.35, um, the decimal place used to be at the end here. We've moved the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 places. So it's actually um, 7.35 times 10 to the 13. If we take the second number um, as a standard form representation, it's got to be written as a whole number between 1 and 10, so that's got to be 6.54, and the power of 10 times 10 to the Let's have a look. We've moved our decimal place uh, from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 places. So it's times 10 to the 8. Next we've got this 20,300,000. Um, the first part, number between 1 and 10, must be 2.03. The second part is times 10 to the decimal place. Move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 places, so it's 10 to the 10. And our last number, um, the number part must be 3.98. I'll round it so it's only three figures. And then times 10 to the decimal places moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Total of 12, so it's 10 to the 12. We can apply a similar method to writing very small numbers in standard form. So if I've got these examples here, these numbers are all less than 1. This number here starts off the same, so it must be a whole number between 1 and 10, so it must be 3.27 times 10 to a power of. Now in fact it's not times 10 because this number is significantly smaller. It's actually divide by 10. To signify it's divide by 10, we still keep the times 10 bit, but we tend to a negative power. 10 to a negative power means you actually divide by 10. So this is going to be 3.27 times 10 to the minus. Let's see how many places the decimal point has moved. It's moved from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. 
so it's to the times 10 to the minus 5 because it's moved 5 places from where it was to get to the 3.27. This next example, the number part which is between 1 and 10 it has got to be 4.28 then it's got to be times 10 to the power we know it's going to be divided by because it's a number much smaller than 1 so it's to the minus how many places decimal point has moved? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a total of 10 places, so it's 10 to the minus 10. Our next one, the number part is going to be 2.45. Our power of 10 is times 10 to the, and decimal place has moved 1, 2, 3 places, so it's to the minus 3. And our last one, the number part is just going to be 4.1 times 10 to the power of decimal place moving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's to the minus 14. We can do the process backwards and convert standard form numbers into ordinary numbers. Uh, for example, here we have 6.27 times 10 to the 9. That means we must multiply 6.27 times 10 times 10 times 10, a total of 9 times. If we do it twice, 6.27 will become 627. But we've got to do it another seven times. This means we add another seven noughts onto that to get our final answer. So 6.27 times 10 to the 9 is the same as 627 with another seven noughts on it. The second example, it's um, 5.43 times 10 to the 4. If we multiply it by 2 powers of 10, we get 543. That removes our decimal point. But then we've got another 2 powers of 10. So we've got to have 2 noughts on it, which gives us 54,300. Our third example, 7.1 times 10 to the 6. If we multiply 7.1 by 1 power of 10, gives us 71. But we've got another five powers, and for each of these, now we've got rid of the decimal point, um, we add a naught, so it's a total of five noughts there. Now, last one here, 8.02. Um, if we multiply by two powers of 10, it gives us 802. But we've got another six powers to go, so we do that by adding six noughts. And that's how to convert from our standard form into an ordinary large number. We can do the same with negative powers of 10 or very small numbers, but this time we must remember because it's a negative power of 10 we're actually dividing by powers of 10. So this one here says 2.71 times 10 to the minus 6 really means 2.71 divided by 10 six times. So if we divide by 10 once we get 0.2 271 but we've got another five powers of 10 to divide by so effectively we go and um, end up with uh, if we go once we get 0.271 but we've got another five times that equates to adding five noughts in there for five and then the 271 overall we've got six noughts followed by the 271 if we do the second one it will be clear the pattern so if we divide by 10 once, we get 0.831, but we've got to do it another three times after that, and those three times require to add three noughts in there. And that becomes 831. A number here with a 10 to the minus 4 ends up having a total of four noughts followed by um, the digits. Likewise here, it's going to be 5.2 times 10 to the minus 9, so our answer is going to start off as naught point and we're going to have another eight noughts because we've got to keep dividing by 10 and then our digits 5 2 and last of all we've got 9.03 times 10 to the minus 5 that's going to be naught point another four noughts making a total of five noughts and then we've got our digits 903